I can remember the times. That's in the backyard back there. That little buck there woulda bit the dirt. <coughs> but I'm a kinder and gentler soul. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't see that other one. There goes one. Yeah. And you I just had back strap last night or the night before last. I guess that's the same deer. Right now I'm not certain. Yep. Yeah, there was another one right there. When I look at them, all I see is back strap. There was a time when I saw as many as 25 in the backyard. But, um, too much hunting pressure ran them off. Some good looking deer. All right, y'all. What you see before you hear the two nice-looking uh, Ruger 1911s. And the other day, I got a package from Paul at Hasman 440, and he had he sent me something. I, of course, have already thanked him, and in order to save time, I have <clears throat> prepped these guns. But what he sent me and I'll share it with you with some real pretty coca bola grips from Ruger see that now this one here is just called uh, engraved coca bola grips it, it didn't have a name but uh, classy classy looking grips here is the other one this one here did have a name it's called Eagle Wings real real pretty grips and they're of course for a 1911 and so I thought that I would sh share with you and him what these uh, grips look like now what I have done on this particular one here this is a grip that comes on it okay your standard uh, double diamond checker grip with the uh, coat medallion now these guns are not loaded I have checked them now I've already installed on this one the grip that I chose to put on here I, I think they look nice very very nice and then on this one which is the one of a hundred and also the one that I had the uh, titanium nitrite coating put on it it comes with a, a um, fall ivory white type sight with the medallion and I put the eagle wing on it now what I am going to do I did this just for the movie to let you see what they look like um, I'll probably leave the white grips on this pistol and it gives me 
an excuse to buy another one, another Ruger 1911, to put these grips on. But it does give it a different look, and I also have ordered some 24 karat gold torque screws for this pistol, which would look, I, I, I'm, I'm not certain how that would look with the uh, brown, I know it looked good with the white, but I'll probably leave the white on this and then take these grips and either interchange them with this other grip, this other pistol, and um, that's the nice thing about a 1911. Depending on how you're feeling, you can change the grips out. And of course, 1911 owners love to do that. Kind of like changing ties, you know. But those are sweet looking grips. And I want to take this opportunity to thank Paul again. Um, I'll put his link down below. He's a nice guy. We, we think a lot alike. And uh, I enjoy conversing with him because I find very few people that think like I do. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to change these out. These these are torque screws now. These are not Allen head type screws and I showed in a previous video the trouble that you can get into when you start trying to put an Allen wrench in a torque screw but uh, it can cause some cause you some grief. So I'm gonna leave that screw on there. Um, we've all seen these videos taking out the uh, taking off grips, especially on. Uh, for 1911 owners. These grips here are just beautiful. These are bushings that fit in there. Some of you new guys, when you go to put these <clears throat> torque screws back in, you don't want to torque them down too hard because you will strip that bushing out. And they do have replacements, but uh it's best not to get into all that. Plus, if you torque them down too hard, you can also, when you go, when you start shooting your um, your pistol, you can crack your grips. And you don't want to cross thread these. That's not feeling right for me. There we go. You just want to snug them down. Now I don't know what the torque, how many inch pounds, but you don't want to do it too too much because you'll run into some a whole host of serious problems. How's that look? I, I think these look great. They're just beautiful. And Paul, I thank you again. Uh, again, I'll probably leave the white ones on here. And then uh, buy me another <laughs> SR 1911 in order to put these grips on. Plus, I can take these grips off and put them on here. Like I say, it depends, and uh, it's just something that 1911 owners like to do. He also sent me, while I mention it, or Diane, his wife, sent me a whole bag full of these Bosch and Loam pre-moistened lens cleaning tissues for glasses or scopes or any type of optical. 
so I, I thought that was real nice and uh, again appreciate it Paul um, <clears throat> Paul's a nice guy we think a lot alike I enjoyed talking with him and I uh, wanted to share that with you yeah great looking grips fun part of owning the 1911 you Glock boys can't do that you can change your grips out people think you have a whole brand new gun so thanks again Paul wanted to share that with all of you let you see what he had sent me let's do it this way and uh, we'll get to see this one shoot eh, probably not this one because I will be making more shooting videos in the future because I'm waiting on a few I'm, I'm waiting on a SOCOM Springfield SOCOM I'm looking for a uh, Ruger Commander 1911 and anything else that happens to pop up but uh, I'm not um, actively out looking for guns every day and I've got other things that I need to be doing too but um, I want to thank you again Paul appreciate it appreciate y'all watching catch you later bye